Good morning, dear friends. And I am so very happy to meet you through this video. And I pray that this brand new day will bring you closer to the Lord who loves you and who cares about you. Today's meditation is based on the epistle of Paul to Romans chapter 16, verse 19. And this verse contains both a commendation as well as a piece of advice, a counsel, or an exhortation. First, the apostle commended their obedience to the gospel, followed with an exhortation. And the exhortation says, be wise about what is good and innocent about what is evil. This is a worthy advice to follow. It is very relevant today, considering that evil is increasing day by day as this age is coming to an end. The word innocent means unmixed or pure, and that is innocent, like a child whose mind has not yet been exposed to the evil or mixed with the values of the world. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 20 says, Brothers, stop thinking like children. In regard to evil, be infants, but in your thinking, be adults. The first thing I want you to notice is this biblical principle is in direct opposition to the idea advocated by some that uh, children of Christians should be exposed to sin, immorality, ungodliness, and things of Satan in order to learn to confront temptation. Now, some suggest that children should be left to themselves to make their own choices. As a result, many parents, in the name of giving their children freedom, leave them unguarded from ungodliness. And this is the most dangerous things to do and it has been proven in the lives of tens and thousands of people, young people, who made choices of their own without any counsel or advice. The children then influenced by their friends. If the parents ignore their responsibility, and do not guard their children against ungodliness and Satanism that is prevalent in the world today. Make sure this, that if parents' influence is not there upon the children, the children then be influenced by their friends, who force them to take wrong path and make wrong choices. And and, and up in evil ways, and, 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 and immoral, and ruin their lives, and a bright future. Because they become drug addicts, alcoholics, and uh, all kinds of evil ways. And then the parents will cry. Because they refuse to cry in the presence of God and uh, get at, give them good advice and guard them from the evils of this world, giving them a good time to enjoy for themselves. And now you start crying, it will not solve your problem. Godly parents will follow God's instructions. If you do not influence your children, Satan will use the world to influence them. However, according to biblical revelation, this philosophy, 
which is leave the children to themselves and ex let them be exposed to the evils and Satan's way of this uh, world so that they may then learn how to confront temptations and evil. This philosophy is not only against God's will, but it is what Satan desire, that everyone be exposed to the uh, knowledge of good and evil. This is what Satan proposed in the beginning of time with our first parents. What God has forbidden, Satan now comes and tempt Eve to disobey God and eat the fruit. And the reason was, when you eat, you will be able to recognize evil and good, and you will have a knowledge of evil as well as good. This is what Satan wanted. And uh, you will read this in Genesis chapter 3, verse 5. And the, sec the second thing I want you to notice is, knowledge of evil and continual exposure to the ways of Satan will lead many from the path of righteousness and faith and obedience. Lot discovered, you remember Lot, the nephew of Abraham? He discovered this truth too late and he lost his entire family to, the, to his deep sorrow. Read Genesis chapter 13 verses 12 and 13 and then chapter 19 verses 1 to 38. You read about the Lord's tragic life and end. The Bible, God's word warns us, bad company corrupts good character. Your children must grow with a good character and that training has to be given to your child by you. Instead of leaving them and expose them to the evils of the way, you yourself must possess a good character, a godly character, and that character you pass on to your children by guarding them from the evils of this life and in this world. Jesus Christ gave himself to rescue us from the present evil world or the present evil age. Galatians chapter 1 verses 3 and 4. I would like you to read all these references after this um, this, this meditation or whenever time permits you today itself. Now Christian parents should do all in their power to keep their children from being exposed to this present evil age. Because the present evil age is completely under the control of the, of the demon powers and the devil uh, uses his demons to go around and uh, influence young people especially. And they even get hold of children. So from their childhood, they learn to have their own way, force even their parents to fulfill what he wants or she wants. You know, sin is deceitful. Those who refuse biblical warning are violating Jesus' warning, which is the most dangerous things, my friends, to do. To refuse to protect our children from the evil surroundings and sinfulness of this present age and this present generation is to show disregard to the Holy Spirit's desire for our children to be innocent about what is evil. And I pray that, um, that all of us and young people, especially who are growing up, 
getting ready to marry and uh, once you are married you will have children and uh, dear people please i urge you to be careful as to how you would bring up your children don't leave them to themselves don't uh, give them that kind of freedom uh, you remember the prodigal son story why he wanted his property and why he wanted to leave home and he went to a far city why because he wanted to freedom he was not enjoying the restrictions uh, imposed at home by his father and he thought he wanted freedom now there is nothing wrong in having freedom we all want freedom our nation fought for many many years to to get freedom from foreign rules and um, but the problem with this young man who left home and his father's home was he wanted a freedom without discipline and that is the danger your children will get into if you leave them to themselves they will also insist on freedom and in the name of freedom and some parents foolishly let them do whatever they want and let them choose whatever they want to choose and ultimately it becomes a problem both for the the children and for the parents as well but it is too late and so be wise as apostle paul exhorted be wise and let the good counsel from god's word guide your decisions and help you to guide your children so that when they grow up they will stand up and rise up and praise you for the achievement that they have because of their disciplined life so may the lord bless you and your family this is god's desire god wants you as a family husband and wife and children together live a disciplined life guarded from the evils of this age and this generation and don't be foolish in making such a foolish decision i want my child to have freedom you will be you will prove yourself to be very foolish with that decision but i pray that the holy spirit will guide you show you the right way and help you to bring up your children in the ways of god so that when they grow up they will stand up and praise you and thank you god bless you and i pray that you will succeed in this this is under the day god has given you to live and to serve him and glorify him and to help your children and to help someone else to walk in the path of god that they may enjoy life good day have enjoy have a good day amen thank you lord for your word today thank you for what you have taught us thank you for showing us the right way and may we now give complete heed to your word and be obedient to bring up ourselves and our children in the ways of god which will lead us into eternal life thank you for doing it we submit ourselves to you in jesus name amen have a good day enjoy your life amen